Hi there. I am here with Mates for You by Atau Reman. I am here with Grade 12 Mathematics Unit First Functions and Limits. Today our topic is Function. So let us first define what is a function. Let A and B be two non-empty sets. A function f as a relation from A to B is an assignment of exactly one element of the set B to each element of the set A. We write f of A is equal to B. A B is the unique element of B assigned by the function f to the element of a set A. F is sometimes called a rule or correspondence. When F is a function from a set A to a set B, we write F is a function from A to B. And we read it as F sends A to B. Sometimes functions are also called mapping or transformation. Actually, function is a rule which assigns to each element of a set B exactly one element of a set A. Y is equal to f of x is called functional notation. Here, this x is called pre-images. Or independent variable. Or input. This F is called this F is called a rule or operator. While this Y is called images. or dependent variable or range variable we should also keep in mind that this x is also called the domain variable as well. And y is the output. This means that every function needs input valves. When we provide input to the function, this operator, this operator f will operate upon this variable x and will produce the variable y, that is the output. So, every function is what it needs an input. It will be then operated by the rule and it will give the output in the form of y. We call x as the domain variable and y as the range variable. Now, 
Let us consider that f, f, f of x is equal to 3x plus 1 function as a rule. Then we want to evaluate the values of the function by some different values. Suppose we are replacing this x with 2. If we replace this x with 2, we will replace this x as well with 2. And we can see that we have replaced here that x with 2. Now, after multiplying and simplifying this, we get y. That is the range. So, the pre-image of this function is 2. And we get y that is 7 as a range. Similarly, another function in the form of equation, g of x is equal to x minus 8. If we replace, say, x with 9, then we will replace that x here as well. And we will get what? 9 here. Now, after simplifying, we get 1. So, the pre-image of for g of x is 9 and the image is 1. Similarly, a of s is equal to s cross s. So, this is another function in the form of an equation which we call the mapping as well. So, replacing the x, x s with 4, we will get we will replace this x and this x as well with 4 to get what? Proposal 16 as an output or image. Similarly, this is an example of function in two variable that f of x comma y, p of x comma y is equal to 2 times x plus y. Here if we replace x with 3 and y with 5, we get 2 times x uh, 3 plus 5 which gives 16. So this is an example of a function into variable. So here we have seen that whenever we have given a function in the form of equation, we will replace the domain variable that is the input, the x, by some values available in their domain. And we will expect some values uh, output in the form of a range of a function. Actually, function is a relation. That is, is it every relation of function? So, the answer to this is no. But every function is a relation, but the converse is not true. That is, every relation is not a function. You can see that here in this diagram, this is this diagram represent a function why because for each input value we have exactly one value in the output okay let us take another example in which a relation is not a function here we can see that this one is a function why because each element of a set a are mapped to each element of a set b that is, for each element of a set A, we have exactly one element in a set B. Similarly, this is also a function. Why? Because here we see that A have an image 1, B has an image uh, 1, and C has this, an image 1. That is, each element of a set X are assigned to exactly one element opposite y. But here, in this case, this one is not a function. Why? Because we see that we have an image for as, uh, an element a, that is 1, an image for the elements b, that is 2, but we haven't an image for the element c. So, this contradicts the definition that for each element of the first set, there must exist, exist exactly one element in the second set. So here we have no image for C. That's why it is not a function. Similarly, this is also not a function. Why? Because look at this. We have an image for B. We have an image for C. But we have two different images for an element A. That is 1 and 2. 
So this clearly uh, contradicts the definition of a function that for each element of the set x there will exist exactly one element in the set y. But here we see that a has two different images that is 1 and 2 so it is not a function. Hope you have understood through diagnostic. Now we want to discuss further that whether a function can be represented through graph or not. So which kind of uh, graph will represent a function and which not? Let us discuss. Here we have taken three graphs. In the first graph we see that if you draw a vertical line to the graph it intersect the graph at only one point that is for each input value we have one output value on the graph similarly if you draw vertical lines to the graph anywhere it intersect the graph at only one point that is for each input value we have output value one output value on the graph <coughs> They show that the first graph represents a function. Now comes to the second. In the second, we draw vertical lines to it, and we see that for each input value, we have one output value on the graph, and thus it also represents a function. Now, in the third graph, we draw vertical lines to it and we see that it intersect the graph at only one point shows that this is also a uh, function because for each input value this there is only one output value on the graph so thus uh, whenever a vertical line is drawn to a graph and if it intersect the graph at only one point it shows that the graph is a function now we are taking uh, some other three examples. Uh, the first one, if you draw a vertical line to it, as already discussed, it intersect the graph at two points. That is, for each input value of x, there we have two output values of y, which shows that this is not a function. So anywhere. If you draw vertical line to this graph, that is in the second, if you draw a vertical line to it, it intersects the graph at more than one point. And thus it represents a relation but not a function. Anywhere you can draw vertical line to these graphs. So the first two are not functions. Now in the third, we see that if you draw a vertical line to the graph here, it intersects at only one point. But here, the vertical line intersects the graph at more than one point. Shows that this is not a function, but a relation. As already, uh, I have mentioned you that a relation can be function, but not every relation is a function. So, let us draw some more graphs. Say, let us draw the graph of a circle. We see that if you draw a vertical line to the circle, it intersects the graph at more than one point, that is at two different points. Shows that the circle does not represent a function. Similarly, if you draw some parabolas, so the vertical lines intersect these parabolas at more than one point and thus not representing functions. So vertical lines play an important role to show that whether a graph is a function or not. Let us draw this graph say n s. Now if you draw vertical line to it, it intersect the graph at more than one point that is at three different points shows that this s the graph of s does not represent a function so dear you have uh, observed which graph represent 
a function and which not hope you have learned about the definition and representation of functions through different values uh, different equations graphs etc in the next video we will discuss different kinds of functions their domains and range so do like the, my channel subscribe it and if you have any problem you can mention them in the comment box i will reply to them hope you will do that stay blessed